Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Tetralink comparison. Um, first from a Tetra DMO handset to DMR, then DMR to DMO, then DMO to DMO, then DMR to DMR. Um, so the two we've got here are the XPR 6550, well, yeah, 6550 and a MTP 700 DMO unit. Um, the crossband gateway is on and functioning. So, as you can hear, there is, uh, no, not really, uh, quality loss. It's actually not sort of better than an actual DMR unit. Um, so, as you can hear, there's really not a whole bunch of latency. If you can uh, hear me in the background, uh, there's no volume loss, really no chomp at all. And if you saw my last video, then uh, you'd be one mile from here. Move on from here. Uh, uh, wait, uh, wait, not a SRG unit here. And then, uh, so could be time to set up an actual VMO reef. Alrighty. And let me now go from DMR to DMO. Just the audio level. So this is now going from a XPR 6550 to a MCT 700. This is what I call the audio is getting weird. It's not really a demo, really. Going from DMO to DMR and DMR to DMO. Uh, uh, my playground is not as well as you can get, which is not being a weird. Uh, and the rain is basically terrible. Uh, DMO is just a little bit worse, but that's because the ADMP is on the 100 DM music. It is locked in around 10 watts. So now we're going to be going from DMR to DMR. That's going to be originating off the main unit. Let me go grab that. properly. So this is uh, now coming on from the XPR space unit to a XPR mobile. Uh, as you can hear, audio quality is kind of better than going from DMR to uh, DMO to DMR. Uh, I have one of the advanced mics with the DCMS keypad for the XPR here. And now to go from DMO to DMO.
Now this is coming in from the demo uh, side. Um, as you can see, the audio quality is actually pretty great. Um, a lot better than the mod. So a little bit of feedback, but that's just because, actually, let me solve that PPI. Turn it down just a bit more. This feedback is great. The speakers on these MTMs are really well. They almost, uh, they're not quite like the one watt ones on the Apexes, but they're close. So now coming in from the, uh, the other side again. This is a lot less feedback. Uh, now behind the door as well. Um, well, compared to a uh, GSM, not quite the you know, PYP, but you get the phone call. Um, one of the better sounding, uh, you know, well, better sounding digital modes out there. there. Uh, better than 825, and those better than 025. But then again, 860 is another guy. Um, depending on where you're at, or how you're doing this, uh, YouTube audio compression may be. We can have it on this and render it to the but it's actually better than analog, which getting it better than analog is hard. So now, one more time, and this time it's going to be instead of a base to mobile, well, instead of base to handheld, it's going to be handheld to handheld. Coming in from the uh, other MTN 700. Uh, yet again, the microphone and vocoder on these is excellent. Absolutely superb. Way better than that OpenSky P25. Then I can see an MMR, easy to use in, C4 FM, etc. etc. Uh, it's Especially from where I'm at, it's better than analog or comparable, depending on where you're at. But uh, unlike analog, it's digital, so you're not going to really get static. Um, and even on the fringe of the surface area, it doesn't do the weird dab 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 sort of thing that uh, all the other modes do. Let me uh, let it cool. So, so, um, yeah. and, and uh, I guess, I'm like analog, over a 25 kilohertz space, space, you have four slots, not two, two but four. four. And, and that goes down to 6.25 kilohertz, uh, uh, equivalent. And, and unlike all, all the other digital modes, modes, you can put these two carriers right next to each other. So, over a 50 kilohertz space, right, and that's continuous 50 kilohertz. Um, you, you have, have shoot, what was it? Eight. Eight, you have eight slots. Wow. wow. That's, That's hard at the end of the day. Never, Never tried recording anything at uh, six o'clock. Not fun. Not fun. So as you can hear, Tetra is superior in many ways. Um, it's got all the features of DMR, um, plus a few, uh, you know, emergency button activations, if you're into that, for some reason for ham, uh, private calls, messaging, and if I'm working on finding one and working out how to get one from Europe, but if you use TMO, then you can actually run full data, like LTE and such. Um, not quite LTE, but... Uh, there are a few of the newer models of um, Tetra subscribers, or Tetra phones is what they're called. It's weird. Uh, well, no, terminals. That's right. There you go. Um, they actually have a web browser, and you use that web browser over the Tetra network. It's actually quite cool. Um, but yeah, they have phone calls built in, PABX, so, you know, 
you have a PBX system, you can tie that in with Tetra, and it you can make a uh, you know, phone call instead of going out into the public switch telephone network and then back in, it just goes right through. Um, so it's been loads of fun and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, um, my SRG gets in here soon and I can start screwing around with that. So people in Austin and uh, the surrounding areas start getting Tetra units. These things are about to get very fun. So this is Anonymous Alligator, signing off.